All right. <laughs> Red at it. What up, y'all? My name is Kevin Allen Fredericks. This is Anthony Charles Baker. <laughs> this is the Ball Brothers Podcast. We out here. Me and Tone like to wax poetic on whatever we want. Movie-centric, <laughs> movie-heavy, because we like movies and television programs. I love movies. Man. Today. I love them so much. And we just going to say this up front. It's going to be tough. <laughs> y'all going to be upset. It's okay. Top 10 Denzel movies. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I want to say this real quick. When we do top 10, it can't be either of our favorite 10. Right. We're really only getting five. Yeah. All we, right. We bringing five each to we the table. We bringing five and each. And then we're not even really in order. We just be talking. We just be talking. And you can't y'all be them like, all. how's that number three? We ain't saying in order, man. We're just saying. These yeah. are the top 10 Denzel movies. Tony, jump out first. Man. Malcolm X. Out the gate. Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. Yes. Malcolm X was a <laughs> tremendous piece. Tremendous <sighs> performance. Tremendous film. So good. So great. Still good. Mm-hmm. Still great. And it's just Denzel's performance. It was like, you believed him. You was like, this is, this he is, is Malcolm X. This is, I don't this think that's Malcolm. even been. There's been other Malcolm X's. I think the last one was Once Upon a Time in Miami. Yes. Uh, but also, it wasn't a full De- Malcolm X movie. Right, right, right. And you know what I'm saying? He's also, Malcolm X is also on Godfather Harlem on a regular basis. Yep. I like yeah. that dude. He Me actually too. looks a lot like Malcolm yeah. X. Yeah, he's doing great. Uh, he's in Ali as, Ali as well. Mm. But that's Malcolm X is the Malcolm X movie. Get your hand out my pocket. Yeah, for sure. Malcolm X. That brother starving. Him. <laughs> Tremendous piece. And I love, I love how they just showed us his transition. Yeah, Detroit Red. Detroit Red. Yeah, to Malcolm, Malcolm X till he Boom. was falling out with the nation. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We learned a, I actually read his biography because of the movie. Yeah. I learned my first big learning about him was from the movie. Could because you realize how human he was. Yeah. It's just like, yo, this this dude was a human being cuz like, you know, if you look at it from the surface, he just looked like an angry black man that For wasn't sure. going to put up with this shit no more. And there was way more to it. But then there was so much more to it. To me, that makes him He's probably one of my favorite historical figures just yeah. because of the humanity and the, the changes that he went through. Yes. Even even when he got to the height of just like, yo, man, the, the pro-blackness of it, and then it was just like, you know, the white man is the devil. And he was like, well, actually, no. Mm-hmm. Not automatically the devil. Yeah. Just, and to see his whole arc, yeah. like when he goes to Mecca and has a change of perspective. For sure. Just that whole thing is just And brilliant. Denzel, just, he's so iconic in that role. Yeah. Like, that's a really good biopic. Yeah. Like, him and Jamie Foxx's Ray are probably my two favorite yeah. actor, like, biopics. Like, they are so good at that character. Mm-hmm. I feel like the person who they portrayed would probably be like, dang, brother. Yeah. You was, all, you was in your bag on that. Because you Denzel man. went on the picture. Yeah. And the just the way he I'm, spoke. Yeah. And, like, good. you know, it, it was just dope. And when you, and when you look at, like... Uh, you know how people say, this hell ain't got no range. He's always the same. Listen to how he sounds in Malcolm mm-hmm. X. Like his his tone and the way he delivers his words. It's just like, you don't see that? Absolutely. Just because he didn't do a flat out blatant where it's just like, oh, he sounds and looks unrecognizable. Yeah. The subtleties is what, like, oh, shit. And some of what works against Denzel is his star power is so strong. His right. charisma is so strong. Yeah. He overwhelms any character because he is the gravitas. Right. So it works against him in that way where, mm-hmm. like, Jeffrey Wright or even Daniel Day-Lewis, they can become the character. Because they're understated. They don't have as much, no disrespect. No disrespect. They don't have as much natural charisma. For sure. Denzel's walk. So they can just chameleon, they can change easier. And that, and as an actor, baby, you got to play to your strengths. That's yeah. a strength of Denzel. For sure. But it's always used, often used as a negative. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go Training Day. Oh, yeah. Good training choice. Day is so good. Because, I mean, I'm sure I, I knew Denzel could do that. Yeah. But he had a string of movies where he hadn't done nothing unconventional. Right. So... And I didn't know that Training Day was based off a real officer. Was it? Yes. Yes. L.A., uh, he was like a Hispanic dude, though. Uh-huh. He, it was, it was closer to, close well, than I'm you might think. I'm just learning this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I didn't know that for, for years. Wow. But. Damn. Tr- uh, training Day, I'm the type of person, this is not a good quality, but I, every trick and twist in the movie I'd be like, ooh, what? Yeah. 
So when I first watched Training Day, it didn't dawn on me what he was really doing. Yeah. Like when he's visiting Mason Gray, when he's visiting Roger, I'm not. When he's visiting the Wiseman, I wasn't putting it together yet. Right. The, making Jake smoke the weed, yeah. I was just like, this is crazy. Right. But as an actor, you realize his ultimate goal at the end, mm -hmm. and then you rewatch the movie, then it's really obvious. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> just his, like, he was just so great. Yeah. He played against type. It's such a great film. Yeah. Ethan Hawke really did his thing, too. Like, he was a perfect counterpart oh, for sure. to Denzel. Absolutely. Ethan gets overlooked. Even he gets though he overlooked. got an Oscar now, but he was delivering, too. He was the, That's what makes it such a great movie. Yeah. But Denzel was cool. Mm -hmm. I was just... Because you, you went back and forth. It's not many villains in movies that made me go back and forth that many times. Yeah. Or, Wait, no, he's a good guy. Well, no, 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 he's not. Yeah, you know what? I like this. Good, well, well, the hold on now. Yeah. So he had me doing all those changes throughout the whole film until he said Jake up in the bathtub with the essays that's when I was like oh he really is there's no redemption there was no redemption even you, he had already killed somebody and I was still hanging on like well maybe that Roger was, was dirty, bad though. he was a dirty cop so I was like you know he was dirty yeah so I, I get it you know he crossed the line but I mean you know he's just trying to but then at that moment and what Jake had done that saved his life makes Jake seem better right so it's it's both like Denzel is really bad yeah. for that and I didn't even see what was happening there I was like what y'all finna play cards right like, Oh no, Denzel's gone. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, I'm finna get pushed in real. Oh, I was like, yeah. oh, Tuco's tripping. <laughs> I was like, yo. And to the end, like, I really still felt like Denzel was gonna get it, like, get out of this. Me too. Until they Russian shot him. I was like, oh. Yeah. Cause he was still defiant. He was. Jake! Jake! <laughs> I was like, dang. Jake! He was calling Jake then, like, yo, Jake ain't coming back. Man. Jake ain't coming back. So good. Yes. All right, what you got? I'm going to go with uh, the Hurricane. Reuben Carter. Reuben Carter, man. He was fantastic in that movie. That's one of my favorite Denzel performances For sure. from an acting standpoint. Uh, even down to his fighting his fighting uh, technique in that, mm -hmm. in that film. I was just like, yo, this is dope. Mm -hmm. And that scene where he was in uh, Solitary. And he was just flipping out in solitary confinement. And he was three different individuals yeah. within that cell. He was the scared dude, like, no, no. He's like, and then the extra violent one. And then the one in the middle, like, no, don't talk to him like that. And he's standing up for the weak one. But it's all this hell. Great. So I'm just like, yo, this scene is incredible. Great. So based on a true story. So yeah. I like that element. And I feel like he should have got that Oscar too for that sure. year. For sure. I'm with you. Yet Tom. again, he should have got the Malcolm Oscar. Yep. He should have got the Hurricane Oscar. Yes. He got the training day. Yeah. And I don't like how people downplay the training day work. They be like, they just gave it to him because he was a villain. Regardless. He was a great actor as well, though. Villains deserve Oscars, y'all. Yeah. I don't know where y'all get this notion <laughs> that black people are only good people and we should just be only seen as good people in movies. Yeah. A good, juicy villain role is a good-ass time. Yeah. And he killed it. He killed it in that. I was low-key still rooting for him, even though I know he's bad. I was just, just like, hey, man. It was hard for me to hate him. <laughs> Get the money, kill the yeah, white dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah. All right. I'm going to go with Glory. Okay. Now, it's not a Denzel movie, like, only. Right. But he was killing But he stood out. He did. So, I remember I watched that movie in school. Uh-huh. And I was like, we did I, too. I don't know if we should be watching Yeah, this. we watched it in school too. But when he got that whooping and he yeah. took the, the the one, the glory tear, right. I said, dang. His feet was messed up. Yep. He was always saying what had to be said. Yep. And then you heard his story. I was like, oh. That's why he like this. But that glory tear scene, I remember being like, this, this is a good actor. And yeah. I was young. Right. But he was like, Take the it. defiance, the defi but the, the pain. Snatched his shirt oh, off. Oh, <laughs> just that. Goddamn shirt. Gravitas. Do what you got to do. Eye contact the whole time. <clears throat> Fighting internally and against the, the physical the, the, pain. The grit teeth. Yeah, man. Duh. Iconic scene. Iconic. The glory tear is still used to this day. To this, till this day. To the day. All right, what you got? Man, he got such a good resume. He's man. got so many. It's going to be tough. Y'all going to be mad. Get over it. Going to be mad. Uh, let's do Remember the Titan. Let's throw that up in there. That don't man. feel good now, does it? Huh? <laughs> that don't feel good. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, don't feel good. Now. Denzel as a coach. Come on, man. 
You can't lose. So good. Denzel man. as a coach. You know what I mean? It's a no-brainer. My yes. brother went to that school. Really? In Virginia after the integration. Wow. But I did not know that was a based on true story at first. Yeah. The movie is perfect. Right. Cheetah! <laughs> Cheetah! Let the boys play! <laughs> He's so good. The yeah. story is so good. Mm -hmm. It was just like, Denzel, man. Yeah, yeah man. So good. Yes. All right, let me think, man. I want to take a quick break from the show to talk to you about one of our sponsors, Blue Chew. Does Blue Chew work? If you're asking that question, we want you to know that Blue Chew is putting their money where their mouth is by giving you a month free. Blue Chew is an online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but at a fraction of the cost and in chewable form. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door. The best part? It's all done online, baby. That means no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever opportunity arises. Listen, Thanksgiving's coming up. And if the turkey ain't ready, the penis will be. <laughs> you understand me? You ain't got to take your time. You pop that blue chew in and then they gobble, gobble, gobble. Make sure you're ready when the time arrives. Or put your meat in a gift box for Christmas because it's going to be hard. All right? Blue chew wants to make men rock hard. They told me that's the mission. They will not stop until every man is bricked up like a brick house. Till every tent is pitched, till every rod is raised. Discover your options at bluechew.com. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code BALD at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code BALD to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. There's so many in. We're already in. We're already five in. We're already five in. Five oh, more. Oh, man. Come on, y'all. Don't be upset with me. So many I'm choices, trying to dog. think of what, like, if I go, if, if I only had 10 to go with, Man. I would want my different ones. I'm going to go American Gangster. Okay. I really love him. Frank in Lucas. Man, I, when he, when he killed uh, Idris just, Elba's character, yeah. when he, Alpaca, they tried to kill him. It gives you everything you they want try. about Denzel. They try to kill my <laughs> wife. I was like, oh, y'all going to get it. Right. Um, but the like the coolness he had, yeah. the anger, mm. I was just like, this is good. And then the end with, with Russell Crowe, and they knew he had him dead to right. Yeah, he was snitching and having a good time. <laughs> Smacking like, the <laughs> he, was, he was on the bulletin board. He's like, yeah. And then this dude bringing in the drugs from here, and he, you can coffee, daffing it yeah. up. Like, look at him snitching. <laughs> Was fixed. He even, he even Denzel snitching. I was like, man, I like this. Snitch. They could have put the wood in it. Be nice. Win, yeah. win. They could have laid that underneath. He changed his whole. <laughs> that once they had him, he changed his whole setup. Like, <laughs> I like you, man. I like you too. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, y'all yeah. had the wrong picture on him. That's, right, it's little Tony. <laughs> he was so, snitching. Yeah, American gangster for me. Good That's choice. Six tone. All right, I'm coming in with. Man on fire. Man on fire, man. John Creasy. I loved him in this movie. This is I love this movie. movie. So good. The 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 lines he was spitting off during that movie, man. He was not playing no games to get that little girl back. He was bleeding in the pool. Man. Creasy Tough. Bear. Creasy Bear, dog. That's she, my that's my email address. I know. I, when I saw that, I said, oh, you really love Denzel. Yeah, man. I love that movie, man. Yeah, it was fire. My <laughs> only my only note on that movie was just Tony Scott was doing a tad too much visually. Yeah. He was just going overboard. The color grade was kind of crazy in that movie. I was he like, was, why did this get get this Instagram filter off? He was doing a lot. It was like hot Arabian sun filter for for, for scenes where it didn't make sense. And I, I noticed that with uh, Tony Scott's movies, after a certain point, he started getting very visually flashy. Mm -hmm. Like, because if you look at if you look at Beverly Hills Cop Two and Days of Thunder and um, The Last Boy Scout and Crimson Tide, even with Denzel, also 
it wasn't as mm-hmm. pronounced as Man on Fire. Because then after he did Man on Fire and he did Unstoppable and like uh, Domino. Yeah. And uh, that, that movie with uh, Brad Pitt and Robert Redford, Spy Game. I was just like, yo, chill on the... <laughs> On the visuals, man. Because I already like Tony's visual style. Yeah. Then I was just like, man, you must, who was he talking to? That we like, yeah. man, you got to jazz it up. <laughs> I wonder if his brother Ridley was like, hey, man, jazz up your visuals. You always get the same <laughs> dusty up. red looks in your movies. J- judge man. it up, jazz man. Up. Look at Gladiator. Look at what I did with Gladiator. <laughs> and jazz it up. I love Gladiator, too. Gladiator's fire. All right, let me think. Man. Yeah. This is tough. We got three left. This is tough. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you my mindset. I'm gonna tell you my mindset. <laughs> he might have been his most believable to me of of the ones left. John Q. He oh was like, God. I was like, John Q. Is I tough. just watched a clip of that last night. He, where are you gonna get the car? He was like, No. <laughs> he turned the gun sideways in his mouth. Man. Oh. I can't even look at the picture of that movie without folding Oh, up. my God. When the kid comes around the corner, he's oh, like... Oh, come on, So man. believability there. Come on. I'm thinking... I just rewatched Deja Vu. Deja it's Vu such a good, good movie. I like Deja Vu. And he's and it's such a good rewatchability. Yeah. Charisma through the roof. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was premium Denzel there. I yeah. love that. Equalizer, I didn't... I was I surprised like by that. Yeah. And he... <laughs> yeah, this is Denzel in full action mode. That's why I'm trying to decide. Like, this is full action Denzel. How do I do it? Is it like believability? Is it charisma? Or is it surprise? And you can really choose the movies based on. Yeah. And he can give you each, you know, or even fences. Like, fences, you know what I'm He was great. In he fences. was great, but Viola Davis was. Oh man, come on. Greater. Come on. But he wasn't bad. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. He got so many good movies. Even man. even Book of Eli wouldn't rank it that high, but action wise, oh, I forgot about Book of Book Eli. Eli. I was like, okay, I Denzel, like Book of I Eli. I like Book of Eli. Dang, I forgot about that. I'm gonna go, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. John Q. Okay. John Q. is so quintessentially Denzel. Yeah. It's like. You need that to tell his full story. Uh-huh. That was believability to the max. Yeah, it was high stakes. I hate that uh, Dennis. Is it Dennis Woods? The, the James dude? Woods. James Woods. Yeah, hate him. Mm-hmm. He plays that role so well. Oh man, come on. Uh, Kimberly released yelling at him on the phone. Man. The kid was so sweet. Oh. He went to jail, which I come thought was on, good. Man. Yeah, like you got to go to jail gotta still, go to man. Jail. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, you still got to go. Now I'm gonna go, John. Key. Okay. I'm coming in with a personal pick. Personal pick. This is what we do it, baby. This is this is super personal because you know it's gonna be it's gonna be other movies that could have been ahead of this for sure. You know, you could, uh, you, you gonna cry for them? No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, look, you, you. This is my this is my personal. All right, personal this is one pick. of my favorite Denzel movies, and probably and probably honestly my most watched Denzel movie of all time. All right. I just rewatched it a lot. Devil in the Blue Dress. Dang. I love That's a good movie. This movie, man. I cannot stop watching it. I wanted to see more of these movies with the same characters. Yeah. Cuz it was so many books. I love Devil in the Blue Dress. The 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 transition of him uh you know just being desperate for work. Yeah. Being thrust into an environment that he wasn't used to. And then him doing what he had to do to survive all all that was going on while unraveling the mystery yeah. while also living and existing and also being a good friend to a wild boy in Mouse. And That's Spike Lee, right? That was a Don Chute. Oh, uh, Carl Franklin directed it. No, no. Who was, who was Mouse? Don Chute. Oh, Don Chute. Don yeah. And then... Um, I'm thinking and, more better blues. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you were way... Not bad, uh, not bad, you know. not bad, yeah. Did you see Devil in Blue Dress? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. And so, and then um, him coming into his own by the end and being like, yo, I can be a private investigator. Yeah. And so it was just like, that That to me is probably one of my favorite Denzel movies, oh, personally. I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> so, uh, There's so many... Pelican we, we gotta Brief is on. good. Pelican Brief is good. Hunt for Red October is good. He's not in there. You right? <laughs> Crimson Tide. Crimson Tide. Mean. Those movies all came out around the same time. There was a lot of movies about submarines. 
I feel like in a four year period it was like yep. it was like all Red these October summer was movies. ninety, Crimson Tide was ninety five. Yeah, and then it was it was like some some sub joints because Hunt for Red October, movies. Hunt for Red October did so well. It was like yo, we got these sub movies. Yeah, going. Foot Few Good Men was a it wasn't submarine, but it was military, military movie. Yeah, military was high. G.I. Jane was late nineties. Yep. Military Scott. was ki- no, yeah. that was really Scott. Actually. Yeah, it was really Scott, his brother. Fallen is a Fallen good is one. A gem, man. Time. Is on my side. Yes, it is. John Goodman was so Fallen is really good. Yeah. Dang, Fallen Bone Collector. The bone, collector. bone Collector. God damn, man. That's this why they want to do game. this. Flight. We talk about flight. I'm hungry right I'm now. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> he got game. He was tremendous. I in. just can't do that because of Ray Allen. I hate. But man, but he was, good. was fantastic. But Ray Allen it does it bad enough to ruin it. Soldier story. Not a lot of people know about that movie. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That old the old light skin dude. Oh, People hate yes. him because of that because of that he movie. He killed it though. And out of time, ah! the Inside Man. I loved Inside Man. It was such a different take from Spike Lee. Mm-hmm. Preacher's Wife is good too. Yeah, it was cute. It was good. It was cute. You don't like romantic comedies. I do, but I'm. You didn't want Angel Sex. Everybody wanted Angel Sex in that movie, man. That's we was cold. going. Everybody we was wanting wanted. Angel Sex, man. Y'all she, wanted. And her husband wasn't even bad. He, he was just was trying to go dude. to church. He was a we good was like, dude. Yeah, have sex with the angel though. Y'all <laughs> wanted him. Y'all wanted Denzel to smash Whitney Houston so bad. That's why I'd be like, and you jelly, hypocrites. <laughs> cherubim cheeks. Y'all sit up here and be like, uh uh-uh, uh, cheaters, uh uh-uh. uh. But you want to, you won't admit it now. <laughs> you but you wanted Denzel to take her ass down. You didn't care if it was going to be in the church, in the basement of the church where the radiator is. You didn't care if it was going to be in the snow. Oh, my God. Y'all know y'all wanted this. Oh. And Courtney B. Vance was minding his he god He didn't even business. cheat, so He wasn't even bad. He he, was y'all not going even... ice skating. You, Dudley's having a great time. Man. Have a, take, take her, have sex with her. Cheat on your husband with that angel. Y'all wanted this. Y'all won't admit it, but I know what you want. Because he had an overcoat on and a boyish grin. Yeah. He wanted angelic, angelic idolatry. Adultery. Yeah. Y'all ain't worth a damn, man. The double standard <laughs> of these women out here. Y'all be loving romantic comedies. It. Yeah, you admit it. You damn right. Meg Ryan was shady and <laughs> sleepless in Seattle, and you got mail. She was shady from the jump, and y'all loved it. Uh, the Notebook, terrible. Man. She's a terrible human. Terrible women in these romantic comedies. But y'all finest angel it. ever. <laughs> See? Look at y'all, man. All right, I'm going to go. Hypocrite. I'm going to go Equalizer. Okay. I'm going to go Equalizer. All right. I, um, I love that <laughs> he was stressed. setting the time. Yeah. He was stuck. Mm. I love how he was always really particular with the stuff. Yeah, for Take sure. the teeth. His teeth. <laughs> cook, cook, He's cook. a throat chop. Oh my God. You getting your throat chopped. You getting your throat chopped. Just chopped. rewatchability is just so high on Oh, for that. sure. Man. I heard I haven't seen three yet. I heard you three is really good. Yeah. What you waiting on? I don't know, man. All right. I, I like three. I like three too. I like I mean two. I like one or two. Watch out, man. Because the thing is, like, I feel like three is low-key my favorite. Oh, is it that good? It's just to me. I just fell in love with that town he was in too. I just like that whole element. I feel like it's light on action. Yeah. But because Pedro think... Pascal's in two, right? Yeah. That scene when they're outside. Oh, where well, he's at his family's house. Oh my god. Yeah. I watch that on YouTube all the time. <laughs> he's like, I called you, man. I just the it way in the wife, the wife. Hey, yeah, you got a family, a wife, a kids. I'm killing all of y'all. And my I'm only regret is only can do it once. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's crazy. He called man. a shot. So good. Man. All right. Top 10 Denzel movies. If you don't like it, make your own list. <laughs> Malcolm X, <laughs> Training Day, Hurricane, Glory, Remember the Titans, American Gangster, Man on Fire, John Q, Devil in a Blue Dress, which was a good pick, yeah. and Equalizer. <laughs> All right. Now we doing our personal five favorite Beyonce songs. Ooh, this was not struggled. Oh, it's not tough. necessarily because I was flooded with good Beyonce songs, but just because... I don't listen to a ton of Beyonce. I do. And so I was just like. I do. And I'm heavy on post. I'm damn sure I almost went. My whole five was oh, Dangerously in Love. You love that album. Dangerously in Love that, is fire. You might be her biggest advocate for that album. I am. You bring that album up. It's the best. <laughs> the best. 
That's the best Beyonce uh, album to you me. You love bro. that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go first. All right. As a nigga, <laughs> love on top. Love on top. I <laughs> love, love on I can never not enjoy it. Yeah. I can't hit the note sheet, but I'll be up there. Baby, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. I can't go with her. <laughs> Internally, I'm hitting every note. Of course. It's such a fun video, too. Yeah. But I really love that song. Yeah, it's a Big good song. Big Love on Top guy Love here. on Top is on it's top of It's a good, you. fun song, okay. man. Okay. Love it. Y'all the one I love. And I was like, dang, you modulating <laughs> way up there. And you know, as a black church kid, the modulation is, yeah. you know, we, you change the key. I'm like, I'm like Richard, Beyonce. She was, up she was singing good in that. She was. She was she giving was 110 good. So, yeah, all right, what you got? So, so I got me, myself, and I. I know it's Dangerously in Love. That's my favorite Beyonce song. Really? Yes. Me, myself, and I, man. That's my shit. Really? Yes. And I loved her in that video. That was like, that was premium. I had a crush on Beyonce. It's, it's, Who did? Everybody it? did sooner or later, you know what I'm saying, male, female, whatever. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, that's when I was in premium <laughs> Beyonce lust mode. Like, I, I was just like, take me now. <laughs> but you're married, Tony. I was married then, but I was like, take us both. Please, take us both. <laughs> And when she was in that video, she was just prime sexy in that video, man. She was in the tub, and she was just walking down the hallway. I was just like, this is everything. Tony, you all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? Just me, myself, and I. And Beyonce. <laughs> me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. All right. That's what know, I found out. If you want to go, and this is a deep cut. Oh, deep cut. Premium Lust. Uh-huh. Rocket. Rocket. Let me sit this. Mm. Oh. That's the name oh, of that song? Yes. Mm. Whew. Mm. Whew. You know what else I was in prime lust was? Just. Remember that video she did for the when she was in Austin Powers? It was a <sighs> work it. Wait, what's the name? Check on check on it? Yeah, check yeah, yeah. It? She was, when she, she was doing the hula yeah, hoop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Man. She looks so good in that video. But this. We won't get banned for this. It's all right if we do. <laughs> Woo! She talking shit in this. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you want something to drink? <laughs> you want something to drink? All right. Woo! I don't know if I ever seen this video. Tony Baker. That closed the door to my office. <laughs> Damn, shut up! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> don't do your homework. Just go to bed. <laughs> it's three o'clock. Shut up! Yeah, I just got Grab home from school. Home. Don't let go. Let me. I didn't know she was capable. Mm. Premium that's, Lust. That's I wouldn't grown. even go that way until you were Premium Lust. I mean, you got to go Premium Lust. Premium <laughs> Lust. Premium <laughs> Lust. <laughs> All right, what you got? Sorry from Lemonade. Oh, really? Sorry. I love that. I ain't sorry. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't thinking about you. <laughs> Oh, think about you. <laughs> when she turn it up, man. Sorry is fire. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Man, my dad I got my new set. Man, that Suck song. off my balls. Pause. I had it. Man. I said, you don't have balls. Dude, Why she, you balls? She can have whatever she want up in there. <laughs> that song is fire, man. I love oh. that song. Love that song. Okay, I'm going to go with you. This is another deep cut. This is our personal. Our personal, man. Love Drought. I wonder what that is. No, this is on Lemonade. It's my favorite Beyonce album. Okay, let me let me. I'm, 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 you want to tap in? Yeah, give me tap in on a little bit of Love Drought. Love Drought, just really well-written song. Let me get up in I this. love this. 
This is my jam. This, uh, I remember the writer was talking about how she, this, this song is actually about Beyonce's record label. Oh, wow. The writer wrote it. Such a well written song. Woo! You better sing, B. Mm. I'm killing the bass, Leah. Stay. <laughs> I'm thirsty enough. Dude, what the chorus sound like? I mean, it's gonna get there, man. It's coming to. It's coming to. I'm, to, right I'm now. like, I ain't never heard this. You heard it. This is the chorus. That's a nice vibe. Such a good song, man. Lemonade. Lemonade. Love Drought. My favorite. It's her, it's her magnum opus to me. Okay. It's a great story. It was so personal. I felt like I shouldn't even be here. Yeah. This. I was like, I want to be, be, to be hearing this. <laughs> we, we, you know this is for public consumption. Right. She's like, nah, listen to this. Should I turn it off with the masses? It's a story. Nah, man, listen. She got back with him at the end, but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The beginning. Well, go ahead, Tone. You up. I'm taking it back to Dangerously in Love. Of course. <laughs> 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 I'm taking it back. The dangerously in love, what baby boy, man. Nah. <laughs> baby boy, you say on oh, my mind, fulfill my. <laughs> I'm thinking about you all the time. Come on, man. Ah. Picture us dancing real <laughs> close in the corner of the basement party. <laughs> every time I close my eyes, I'm singing everyone left but you and me. <laughs> in our own little world, the music is the sun. The dance floor becomes the sea. Man, come on, man. Tony loves it. Baby boy. I love that you love it, Tony. Man, that, that, that album to me is a classic. I'm going to go with this, and I thought you would have said this by now, no, but I'm glad got? you didn't. Who we got here? This is my... Cue it up. Oh, yeah. This This is my this song. On, this is on my list, too. This is my number five. I love this song. I may be young, but I'm ready. It's such a good, like, summertime. What's up now, y'all? Now we got the we got the dogs on. I can't call it. Ribs gonna be up later. Grip, grab yourself something to drink. Listen in there. Yeah. Go say hey. How your mom and them? Come on, come on. We got plenty of food. Bring the kids. You know the kids are welcome. Bring those kids. Zay and Joe is in there. Yeah, they on the slide. We got a bouncy house, y'all. Bring them in. Go, just bring some cups, then it's fine. <laughs> we gonna be on the space. We playing werewolf. Tony coming through. We got carrot dogs. Come on, y'all. We like to party. <laughs> and I love Andre's verse on this song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this on this, this is a double up. It's so per. Yeah. Can we just listen to Andre's verse? I mean, why not? Yay! Three thousand degrees. Cheese. Reload. This just make me feel old. I like the J Cole verse too. Yes, good time. Mm -hmm. What a great. Love. That's a good man. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Man. Yeah. Man. All right, what you got off the off the Dangerously in Love album? Because I know you're going to grant. I'm coming I up out of the Dangerously in Love album. Halo, goddammit. Halo. Halo. 
Halo, Halo, Halo. Really? Yeah, man. That is surprising. Halo. That is surprising. Because you singing hard, man. It's epic. Yes. It's <laughs> it makes your hands raise. <laughs> Gotta go Halo, man. I'm with you. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to that album. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy in love. Because oh, you went to Dangerous Land? Look, that's man, okay. look at you. I'm going to go you. there. Because for look me, <sighs> Beyonce was already famous. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. she was. She was. Destiny Child was around. It was strong. Right. It was. It was good. Mm-hmm. I was. I was. I'm not. How do I describe this? When she dropped this single, I was like, "Oh, she got it." Mm-hmm. Like this she. It. This. This was the. Because you knew she was the lead singer, but it, right. it, in the group, she never felt like. I'm trying to say this with, with respect and not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> make it seem like it's negative. But she never felt like I'm going to blow. Like, you know Justin Timberlake is going solo. He right. leaving them behind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Beyonce, that always felt like a good group. Yeah. So when Crazy in Love came out, I was like, oh, she's I get exactly what you mean. She is, she had something that you, it's like when a rookie quarterback come from college, you like, yeah. we see how he's going to do in the league. He throw for eight touchdowns in two right. games. Yeah. No picks. You're like, oh, well, dang. Right. I thought he was going to struggle. Like, Crazy in Love was such a great introduction song. Mm-hmm. I was like, she gonna be big, yeah. And then she's just kind of gotten, yep. Like nobody gets better six albums. See, like six solo albums in. Oh, man, still, still killing. Renaissance still. that late in your solo career. That's not still after killing. a solid group career. Right. You don't. She you had ex- the solid group tone. career, the killer solo career, and that's, still going. That's unusual. I'm I, outside of like. Stevie Wonder, like I'm trying to think of artists whose albums were continually to get good. Well, you, six albums in, you got artists like that, but they were already solo. That's from a, true. From a group, from a group, come out. Who else not, has even like that? Six albums in, not this deep in. No, nah, because Justin Timberlake, he came out good, but he's like his first three, four, maybe even four or three. It was it was the Justified, Justified, it was Crazy the, Sexy, or no, crazy, Future Sex Love Sounds that. The 2020, 2020 experience. One and, and two. And the sequel. And then, but then Man in the Woods. Man in the Woods the was just. They and up I the didn't moment. even like the second part of 2020 experience. I didn't pay attention to it. I was like, you should have just done one. Yeah, the black yeah. and white was good. The black and gold was. It's hard to sustain. Like when you come out. Because look at look at Bobby Brown, for example. He yeah. came out with Don't Be Cruel. But then Bobby took a dip. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's still double platinum. But it was like yes. everything was dipping off. Bill, 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 everybody yes. dipped off fast. Yes. Even even Lionel Richie, like you know, when he left the Commodores, he was huge, and then yeah, slowly but surely. But Beyonce is maintaining the the momentum. Renaissance, what her fifth solo album? Maybe even more. I don't know if a lot of people don't call count. Um, they don't count the the uh the Lion King one. Uh, well, she got Sasha Fierce. She got Dangerously in Love. Sasha, she got B Day, four the, the Beyonce album. So she got one, two, three, four, five. So Renaissance is six if you don't count the Lion King. Yes, and then she just came out with Cowboy, Cowboy Carter, Carter, which is good. So it's like <laughs> surprising. <laughs> All right, where you at? So. Since we already did party, was that the name this of the song? last one? Yep. That, the last that's one. technically, you know, the, nah, the one to pick out one. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw something else in there. Go ahead. So for me, and the reason I'm putting this in this countdown is because I saw a live version of it, and I was just mesmerized. End of time. End of time. Yeah. What's that? Like, Let me pull that up. It's end of time. I saw her do it. Not live. As I was there, I just saw her perform it live. Oh somewhere. snap! And I was just mesmerized by the whole, the way they were dancing, the way she was singing. I was just like, "Yo, this shit is." Did my nose start the song. <laughs> I was just like, "Damn!" It was just so epic and just so like. Climactic. Was it the hum- Was it the homecoming? I mean, the Coachella premiere. I mean, Coachella live. I think it was saw? before that. Okay. Yeah, I think it was before that when I saw a performance of it. That might be it right there. Live at the Roseland? That might be it right there. Fast forward towards the end. Oh, this is probably it. Yeah. 
Oh, they mixing and matching. Is this the one I saw? No, because they mixing and matching. Mm -hmm. The one I saw was just like a straight, Got it. straight through performance. But I was, I was just mesmerized by that song and mm -hmm. just performing. I was just like, yo, this is incredible. I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. So that's it. We got Love on Top, Me, Myself, and I, Rocket, Sorry, Love Drought, Baby Boy, Party, Halo, Crazy in Love, and End of Time. Top, yeah. I guess top 10 Beyonce songs, personal five for me and Tone. Thank y'all for hanging out with us, man. It's just yeah, a good man. time. Good way to waste the time here. together. You feel Quit me? Quit your job. Quit your job, man. Get that job. <laughs> Quit your jobs. Dangerously <laughs> in love. Hold on. I got a funny thing about this. Hold on. We'll play this video for you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you heard if you ever heard this your late for work thing from Mark Rebelay. Uh yeah, we can style it. I'm down for that. This ain't it, hold on. Mark I, is so funny. I to need me, you man. to see this tone because I have like <laughs> saved this on my phone <laughs> because it's so fun funny to me. He, the way he be dancing be cracking me up. That dude is funny. This is it. Late to work, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's your life, bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, boss. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Yes. I'm late. I'm late. This is my theme song. I said I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Like you gotta fire me, there's no one else here, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny That's to me, me. man. <laughs> there's so many bosses that I wanted to tell this to, oh man. My God. I don't care. I'm late. <laughs> the way he was dancing was really funny. I'm late, late. <laughs> Late, <laughs> late. Oh, that is me. All right, y'all. We love y'all, man. Watch the Bob, uh, Kevin, uh, yeah, yeah, Kevin Ball man. Brothers, man. Ball Brothers, Tony. We gonna have a good time. I'm gonna go home and watch it with y'all. Bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. Ah.